in this video I'm going to give you seven tips on how to use a phone to make great archery and bow making videos. And if you're new here, welcome along. My name's Mick Grucock and I make archery and bow making videos. If you'd like to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. Hit the bell button below for notifications of my next upload. Thanks for being here and let's get on with making a video using a phone. Throughout this video I shall be using this, an iPhone 7, to demonstrate the tips and techniques that I know will dramatically improve your bow making and archery videos. And when I'm showing video filmed on this, I will tell you at the bottom of the screen. This is the icon that launches the camera on this phone. And now we're ready to go. Wobbly video. Isn't it so irritating? But look at the difference it makes if you make the camera steady. So, tip number one is this. Always, but always, find a way of steadying your camera. It makes such a difference and can be done at absolutely no cost. You can, of course, use a tripod and a camera clip, but there are many other ways that you can support and steady your camera. So, that's tip one. Be imaginative about how you support and steady your camera and you'll see an amazing difference in your videos. Of course not all camera movement is bad. Try panning slowly across a subject like this to make your clips more interesting. Focus. It's so irritating when the main subject is not in focus and it's so much better when it is. Cameras in these phones have got very, very sophisticated autofocus systems, but it's still very, very easy to fool them and end up with images out of focus. There are, though, some simple ways to ensure you always get your subject in focus. One of the simplest ways of making sure your camera focuses on the subject you want it to is make that subject a bold part of the frame. It's a simple solution, but it usually works. Alternatively, you can use the autofocus lock function found on this and other smartphones. Daylight, natural light, it's free and absolutely essential for creating great video. But just look how easy it is to fool the auto exposure system in this iPhone. So that's tip three. Be aware of light and how it affects your camera. Learn to use natural light to your advantage and don't let it spoil your video by allowing it to fool your camera. Avoid harsh sunlight which throws deep shadows and creates bright highlights. Very difficult for your camera's sensor to record. Instead, favour overcast days because these offer mellow and even light. Great for video. Look at this clip and notice how it goes from bright to dark and back to dark again. The image is flickering. This is the camera's auto exposure system at work. To avoid this, you can lock the setting. On an iPhone, as in tip 2, lock the exposure at the same time as locking the focus. And that's tip 3. Understand light and how it affects your camera. Pointing your camera towards bright light is not always a bad thing. Sunrise and sunset are perfect for creating silhouettes, ideal conditions for striking video. Look at this video clip. And now this one. Most people consider the second to be the most appealing, and that's composition. Framing your subject to create a pleasing scene for your video. So that's tip four. Be thoughtful about how your subject is placed in the frame. Dividing your scene into thirds is a useful habit to develop. Placing your subject at these intersections gives good results every time. You can also create interest 
by using unusual camera angles and watch out for natural features or foliage to create a frame around your subject. So tip four really finds the artist in you. Learn to make every scene a great one by using imaginative composition. Notice which way I'm holding this camera. I much prefer this orientation for TV, for YouTube and for computers. But you can of course film like this. But throughout this video I shall be using this orientation. Like this. Here's a baffling truth. Audio, the sound recorded by your camera, is just as important as the image. Good sound can bring your video to life. But bad sound can destroy it. So tip five is this. Think about the sounds reaching your camera and do your best to avoid unwanted noise spoiling your video. Try to prevent distracting sounds such as camera handling noise, wind rumbling in the microphone, passing vehicles or aircraft. You can shield your camera from wind and other unwanted noise by placing it low down or protected by a feature such as a rock, tree, post or your own body. And by placing the camera on the ground you can almost eliminate any wind noise whatsoever. Of course it's not always possible to avoid unwanted noise reaching your camera's microphone but being aware of the importance of audio is one great big step towards making your videos so so much better. If you often record your voice on video an inexpensive lapel mic can make a huge difference to the quality of your recorded speech. The modern smartphone is an astonishing tool and the cameras within them equally so. Worldwide these things are probably the most popular means of recording digital video but they can do more than just capture video and stills. With these you can also record time lapses and slow motion and that's my penultimate tip. Use these extra smartphone features to add interest and depth to your video. Slow motion and time lapse can use a lot of your camera's memory. Make sure you have sufficient storage on your phone before trying to use these features. So here we are, almost at the end of my tips, tricks and techniques about how to get the most from your smartphone camera. So far we've covered six tips that I hope will give you a huge step up in your bow making and archery videos. I'm often asked which is the best camera and the answer to that is it's the one that you've got with you and most of us carry one of these. So why not make the best use of it to record your passion for archery or bow making or both. But remember this, random clips are great but the magic really happens when they're joined together, when they tell a story, when they become a short film. There are numerous simple video editing apps available for mobiles. This one has mobile iMovie, but there are other apps available for Android phones. So tip seven is this, film your clips as if you are telling a story, a narrative in film with a beginning, middle and end. Video editing is a whole new subject, but without doubt it is the fairy dust that transforms video clips into magical stories. Just look at the random clips in this video, but now join together. So those are my seven tips to get the most from your smartphone camera when you're making your bow making and archery videos. Let me know in the comments below if you have any tips and techniques when you're using your phone to make your videos. Thanks for watching, I really do appreciate you being there. Do please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.